Uh, please welcome to the stage the founder and CEO uh, of the Office Management Group. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the amazing Hannah Gray. Are you okay? Are you there? Holding the drinks already. This has not even started yet. So. I should double up, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It's my absolute pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to the second Office Management Awards ceremony. Woo. And hi to everybody joining virtually online. And you waving at me as well. <laughs> I love the wave. <laughs> Great crowd, Nikki. Um, this is quite literally my favourite night of the year and I personally cannot wait for you guys to see what else we have planned in store and for you to find out who the winners of each category are. You may or may not know that I first thought of launching these awards back in November 2019 and now this idea and this dream to highlight the office management profession is well and truly a reality and people are finally recognising the importance of this role. And now, this year, we've gone global with the introduction of the International Office Manager of the Year Award. And they're all online. <clears throat> and that's uh, <laughs> our second accident of the night. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Did Dan do that one as well? Where are you? Oh, he's not there, okay, he's nowhere near it, good. <laughs> Thanks to all of you for coming and to our incredible sponsors who continue to support the profession. I've lost it now. I want to extend a huge thank you to Radiance Property Services as our headline sponsor, who you'll hear from shortly. I also want to extend my thanks to my amazing team, Claire, Leanne, I don't know where they are right now, over there at the bar, good girls, and, and Mel. <laughs> And Mel, in particular, who has worked with me tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure everything is set up perfectly for tonight and over the course of the evening to ensure you all have a great time. Finally, we of course wouldn't have our finalists and winners without our amazing and brilliant panel of judges. Salima, Hen, Lauren, Lucy Brazier OBE, Lucy Chamberlain, Lindsay, Yvette and Lisbeth, who are all here tonight with the exception of Lisbeth. You'll be hearing from them soon as we start to present the awards. So thank you all so much for giving up your time to judge and decide on our winners. Now, <clears throat> this past year has been a little bit of a whirlwind for many of us, particularly you office managers, my favorite people on earth. I absolutely love hearing about your challenges and achievements both through the, the awards program and at other, other networking events and the portal and so on. Um, you already know, but that video, if you saw it, highlights just how much you have to deal with in the profession and how often you get little thanks for it. That's why programs such as the Office Management Awards are crucial. It's time to give you a moment in the spotlight. It's time that we yet again recognise, reward and celebrate the office management profession and businesses who work closely with us to support our roles and companies. Regardless of the outcome of your entry this, this evening, I want you all to celebrate and have fun. To me, you are all superheroes of the office and should be incredibly proud to have put yourselves out there and um, yeah, just go that step out of your comfort zone because sometimes we have to do that in order to see what opportunities it may bring. So. Bravo. Some of you know that I did that recently and decided to jump out of a plane in Dubai. <laughs> We're on the wrong slides actually, <laughs> but there should be a picture of me jumping behind, so you ho hopefully see that in a second. Um, it was a crazy experience that I don't think I would do again, um, but I pushed myself beyond my comfort zone, and often we need to do just that in order to realise what is out there and what is possible. 
There were numerous connections and opportunities made off the back of last year's awards, both for finalists, attendees and winners. As entrants and finalists, you've probably all pushed yourselves beyond what is comfortable for you, but I can assure you it was the absolute right thing to do. It's truly an honour to be able to provide a platform for you to showcase the best of what you do, share your stories and your exceptional achievements, as well as your challenges. So please, can everyone raise a glass? Dave Q. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I need to wait for the uh, plain, plain slide if anyone wants to see it, but anyway. So can everyone raise a glass to say congratulations to you all and cheers. Now is the time. Now is your time. Cheers. Enjoy this evening and thank you for making it possible. Sure. So now it gives me great pleasure to introduce you our headline sponsor for this evening, Neve O'Sullivan, CEO of Radiant Property Services. Please give it up for Neve. who are talking, I think. Good evening. An office manager client of mine at a hedge fund contacted me a few months ago and said, Neve, how am I gonna entice my staff back to the office? And I said, what, to your brand new, beautifully fitted out, stunning office in Mayfair? Yes, yeah, she said, what am I gonna do? So I obviously thought about the office management group, my go-to woman, Hannah, and she suggested, what about some entertainment? And I thought of the mind-reading magician, Chris Fleming. Where are you, Chris? Yes. I thought, well, then at least we'll find out why people don't want to come back to the office. I gave her your details, commission to follow, hopefully. Um, and also, what about giving the staff a laugh? Dave, yes, you were given a big shout out to. Thank you. Um, and so it went on. Everything from a cocktail mixologist in the office to goat yoga and everything in between. <laughs> yeah, it was that. But for me, I felt it was proof, if proof were needed, that the role of the office manager has changed fundamentally. Previously, I think it was seen as functional. Now, it's a leadership role. You were office managers. You now are office leaders. And you are shaping the, the work environment and culture that we are now in post-COVID. We all know that it's been hard in the past few months to get staff back to the office. Some of you will have read about the empty desks at Wright Whitehall and maybe have heard that Jacob Rees-Mogg expressed his frustration in some passive aggressive notes left on civil servants desks. If only he'd listened to his executive assistant who would have said, Jacob, no, 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 that's not the way to do it. Or Google, thinking that they could give their staff some electric scooters and they'd scoot their way back in their droves, but they didn't. And yet we know that there's real value in coming together to swap ideas and it's where innovation happens. We know that it's hard to have conflict and challenge on Zoom calls but yet, from conflict and challenge comes progress. I read recently some research from the Said Business School and it said all about the city effect. Why do cities thrive? And it's because they are capitals of creative industries and they bring people together, just like tonight. And that's why our clients are all talking about collaboration hubs 
The office is no longer a place to sit in rows from nine to five. And that's what you guys are so good at doing. You're nurturing an appealing office culture. And luckily, I've had the privilege of seeing some of the entries to tonight's awards. And I can see that you're leading people back into the office in three ways. First, through the fear of missing out, that FOMO effect. Second, through collaborative culture, through office design, changing the way our offices look. And thirdly, by doing things differently in this post-COVID world. So firstly, looking at FOMO, one of the entrants here described themselves as a culture carrier. That person who ensures that birthdays are celebrated, hopefully with a cake drop cake from those lovely cake drop sisters. Um, another entrant said that she was the culture torch for the office. So that when COVID restrictions were finally lifted, she organized a full week of celebrations from swag bags to slap up meals for staff. Another office manager said she is the office DJ so that staff can have a fun and relaxing atmosphere. And also on the flip side, there are office managers who are there for staff on the bad days when they need someone to talk to, that crucial mental health first aider. Good, good. Um, and then secondly, as I said, you're moving to building a collaborative culture through the office space design. I read a lot of entrants who had had to re-examine their office layout. Some had commissioned architects for drawings. Some, one person, had established a working group to collate everyone's ideas so that there was a shared vision, which is fantastic. And of course, you've dealt with the supply chain issues that the perfect storm of COVID and Brexit has thrown our way. But that the pros you are, you came up with all the solutions. And thirdly, you've been innovating. You've made a creative culture doing things differently in this post-COVID world. We're not all in the office, we're not all at home. How do we keep culture going? Well, I read about one person who organized a virtual cook-along for 400 people with all ingredients delivered to everybody's doorstep, which I just thought was wow. Also, organizing bi-weekly socials, whether it be pumpkin carving, virtual reality, all of that. And then even someone came up with a concept of a love book where staff could send messages of support or write poems of gratitude, which I just thought was amazing. So good. So you're all here and you're all shaping our new office environment. So well done. And of course, we know that the prize is that we have a happier and more productive workforce because of you. The office is an inviting place to be because of your innovation. It's about using the space better, which you've done, because we've lived with a default system which was purpose-driven. And now post-COVID, we're saying, what's the point of the office? Why do we bother going? And finally, and hopefully, your employers and co-workers recognize your value and how integral that you are. And if they don't, you should tell them. And <clears throat> in my world, I've experienced this change. I run a cleaning and maintenance company. And prior to COVID, my staff's role was seen as very functional. Yet overnight, we were sanitizing offices for COVID prevention. And then also, for offices that were closed, we were flushing taps to prevent Legionella outbreaks. Suddenly, we were crucial too. But this is why we're here tonight, and it's to celebrate all of you and the important work that you do. And I think you'll agree, it's so important to celebrate 
And I saw that at, this, at last year's awards. I could see how much it meant to people. I could, I could see that firsthand. And that's why I thought I'd come today and sponsor it, because it's so wonderful. And it's brilliant that Hannah has seen the importance of having this system. That we recognize, she recognizes the contributions of your companies, and you're raising the profile of your profession. So please, let's celebrate and toast you all tonight. We're all looking forward to a brilliant night. And as I say, we've all seen things that don't work, passive aggressive notes and electric scooters. But you guys, from what I've read, are creating a collaborative hub with brilliant cultures so that we have a happier workforce, which is fantastic. So you've brought yourselves from the background to the foreground. You're the office leaders shaping the future. Congratulations to you all. Bravo. Bravo. So I am going to ask you guys um, to welcome onto the stage for our first award. That is for the Startup Office Manager of the Year. This award is going to be presented uh, by sponsor Office Elite and judges Lucy Brazier, Obi Eden, and Salima Shuri. Please welcome them to the stage. Hi. Oh, I didn't 
didn't know it was actually going to be on straight away. Thank you. How's everybody tonight? Sister child, amazing. This is amazing. You should be so proud of yourself, honestly. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are so pleased to be sponsoring the second office manager award um, and the newcomer award from Pat Shack. We're uh, still a new business as well. Um, so we totally understand what it's like to be a newbie and fears and that, but honestly. Just the energy in everybody in this room is electrifying and amazing, so you guys should be so proud of yourself. Um, and yeah, I want to hand it over to the judges, but honestly, thank you guys so much. Yeah. You know,
Sponsored by Active Workplace Solutions. Uh, there you go. This one is judged by Yvette Pearson. Uh, welcome to the stage as well with Debbie Bowman from Active. Uh, and Yvette, come up. Give it up for them. That's for you. And that's for you. Good evening, everybody. How are you all? and I'm from Active Workplace Solutions and Adrian, my director here and I'm really excited to be sharing this evening with you all you just, it's just so good to see everybody dressed up and out face to face again you all look amazing so Active have had the pleasure with working uh, with many of you on fit outs and refurbishment projects relocations and FM services and sometimes we've just been on the end of the phone to offer you advice and guidance solving issues in the workplace and we just want to let you know that Active will always be here on the end of the phone for you whenever you need us. The Office Management Awards ceremony is, is really a great opportunity um, to honour your, your prominent achievements in the workplace, that's all of you, not just the finalists. And um, so, you know, we hope to see many of you here next year. Just keep doing what you're doing, you know, you're just, it's, it's just amazing. And Active Workplace Solutions. So Active Work, sorry, I've had too many Proseccos. <laughs> Active Workplace Solutions, yeah. I decided, uh, delighted <laughs> to be sponsoring these awards tonight and specifically Project of the Year Award. And we just wanted to say tonight to all you people out there, to all you office managers, executive assistants, personal assistants, facilities managers and HRs out there tonight. Just keep being those multitaskers and those multi-masters in the business because you're unstoppable when you have a strong vision. So good luck to all the finalists for the Project of the Year category. And over to Annette, Yvette, sorry, to announce the runner-up of the year award. I promise next time I won't drink too much Prosecco. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. And um, a big shout-out to my fellow judge who couldn't make it here this evening, um, Elizabeth. She and I worked very closely together to judge these awards. The Project of the Year Award recognises individuals who've been through a significant project um, and successfully delivered it either independently or as part of a team. So the finalists are 
Claudia Bruce. <laughs> Megan O'Connell. <laughs> Natasha Leon Davies. <laughs> and Samantha Callaghan. So the runner-up for this award is Samantha Callaghan. Bravo. Come up on stage, Samantha. Where's Samantha? Give it up for her, ladies and gentlemen. Samantha Callaghan. There you go. If you come up here. Congratulations. Have you got a couple of words you'd like to say? Um, just a quick thank you um, to Hannah for everything she does. She's amazing. Um, thank you to my team, who I couldn't have done this without. Um, and thank you to the judges. And the winner for Project of the Year goes to Megan O'Connell. Well done, Megan. Bravo to you. Meg well done. You want to say a couple of words, Megan? So, um, I'm not going to cry this year, um, but thank you. <laughs> this was my first fit-out project, um, and my first like, proper project of my whole career. So, I've set an insanely high bar for myself, but I just want to say thank you to Echo Space. <laughs> because without their help, um, I would be a blithering mess on the floor, um, because you do it in a pandemic and you have no help. So they have been amazing. Um, but thank you to Hannah, because when I had moved in and everything was up the creek, I was rocking in a corner and um, <laughs> I thought that it would moving day would not be possible. And she sat there and she was like, it's going to be fine. And actually, I was so worried. I actually really wanted to apply for this award. Um, before I'd even set out. So like this time last year, I was even standing here and I was like, I hadn't even started the fit out and I was like, I'm gonna apply for this award. And when um, it didn't go to plan, I was like, okay, so I can't apply for this award. And Hannah said, just because it's not perfect, it doesn't mean that it's not award worthy. So for anybody that is doing anything within the office management perspective, it doesn't mean, just because it doesn't go to plan, doesn't mean that it isn't worth acknowledgement so I just want to say thank you thank you um, hi again so uh, given the amount of fit up projects and office moves I've run and I'm talking about in excess of about two or three hundred because JP Morgan used to do them every weekend um, I know just how important, important it is, I've also had too many Proseccos, to have a great fit-out contractor on board. And it's my pleasure to have judged and sponsored the award for fit-out contractor of the year. This award recognises businesses who have provided outstanding services to businesses and office managers in relation to fit-out works. And the finalists are Echo Space. And Richardson's. And the winner is. Drum roll, please. Yes. Echo Space. Bravo. Come up, someone from Echo Space, and claim your awards. Come up, come up. Congratulations, well done to you, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, do I have to say something? Yeah. Um, uh, um, very, 
very little to do with me and everything to do with my Echo Island gang over there. Thank you very much, guys. Well done. Okay. Thank you. Right. I've got surprise on. Dave, well Dave, Dave, David. Hold on. Hold on. And this. Oh, this yeah, it's all yours. Sorry, I really the poor bloke's you. never won an award before, obviously. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> You don't know about this bit because I kept it a surprise. So when I opened the awards in October last year, we were all still very much remote and I'm not even going to mention the C word because who gives a it quite frankly now. But I added a category that was new called Remote Office Manager of the Year. And soon after everything opened up again and it just didn't seem relevant anymore for our role. But someone entered, in fact a couple of people entered, but one of the entries really um, got me deep in terms of how much passion they had, how much evidence they supplied, and I couldn't not hold these awards tonight, and thank goodness she's here without, and here is your time for round two, because last year you didn't speak, and I've seen your LinkedIn post saying you've had coaching and you're gonna speak now, so you know who you are, Tracy Ann Green. Come on up, please. Bravo. Tracy Ann Green. Come up, come up. Madam. Okay, no pressure. So last year I couldn't say anything because I was too nervous. Shh, shh, shh. But this year I want to say a huge thank you to Hannah because without her I don't think a lot of us would be here today. Um, she's a great support and great mentor and a great friend, so thank you. Thank you to all the... Bravo. I'd like to also say thank you to the judges and also to the sponsors tonight and thank you to the Mayfair Hotel and all to, to all the entrance today and all the you know people who are winning and also be entrance so thank you very much and have a good evening Bravo. well done to you okay give it up hannah and tracy over here We're sharing the winner uh, for Office Management uh, Service Provider of the Year. And this one is presented by sponsor Lisa's Sweet Treats, uh, awarded by public votes. So welcome to the stage, uh, Lisa Organ, ladies and gentlemen. Lisa, madam. My pleasure. There is your microphone. Lovely. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I am delighted to be sponsoring the second OMAs at Lisa Sweet Treats. Shh, shh, shh. We pride ourselves on great service and understanding the value of this award. This award has been awarded by the public vote. And our finalists for Office Management Service Provider of the Year are... Active Workplace Solution. Work Era NV, Lost Socials, Pentech IT Solutions, Radiance Property Solution Services, <laughs> and Simplify ER. And the winner is. Simplify ER. Simplify ER, congratulations. Zamir and Shafiq, welcome them to the stage. Congratulations to you two. It's just one of you guys. Would you like to say something? Uh, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, genuinely shocked, um, but really honored uh, for this award. Shh, 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 shh. It's, uh, it's been a great privilege to be 
associated with the office management group. Uh, thank you so much to Hannah. Uh, we've built a really good partnership with her, and thank you for everyone who's voted for us. And just, you know, you guys are amazing, you guys are champions, and we're just really blessed to be in your service. So thank you so much. Bravo to you. Well done to you guys. Okay. Uh, this is for the award is Office Management Supplier of the Year. This particular award is going to be presented by the sponsor, uh, Ha Bloody Ha, uh, which is me, I have to say. I didn't know that was happening, but all of a sudden, who has the power now? And I like it, right. And also by public vote. Uh, so according to the bit that I'm reading here, my auto cue, please welcome me, David Lewis, half an inch to the podium. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> well, I, I feel like an NHS worker on a Monday night at 8 p.m. all of a sudden. So you won't get that because I'm sensing you guys didn't clap anyone. But everyone else uh, will appreciate that joke. <laughs> Sorry, I'm only saying that because it's probably accurate. Right. <laughs> the winner of the Office Management Supplier of the Year. Can I have one more drum roll over here, please? And the winner is... Cake Drop! Bravo to you. Come up here, Cake Drop. Give it up for them. Oh, God, it's a table I was taking the piss out of. Sorry. Come up here. There you go. Sorry, it's very good. Okay. Oh, there you go, you get flowers uh, and you get, uh, there you go, flowers and an award. Bravo to you. Would you like to say something? Yeah. There you go. I'm fresh out of jokes after last year, but Anna's going to do it today, so that's <laughs> I've got no jokes, but thank you so much, mainly to you guys, office managers, HRs, EAs, PAs, bloody sisters. Um, you make our job such a joy and you make the 5 a.m. mornings worth it, the 2 a.m.s for Nicola worth it. Um, you are such a nice group of people to work with. Thank you so much. And most of all, thanks to my sister who drives Aww. us forward every day. I Bravo. wouldn't be here without her. Well done. You can leave that microphone Hello. there. Oh, God. You guys seem so nice. I feel like a bit of a prat for taking the piss out of you so much. But I've run out of material like you guys have, so I've got no other option. So sit down. Uh, I didn't know they mentioned it. Right. <laughs> Big. And uh, yeah, this award is going to be presented by sponsor, one of the sponsors for this show, Hug, uh, with Megan Doll and judges Lauren Bradley and Henrietta Barker. Please come up to the stage. All of you guys, wherever you are, there you go. Come up to the stage. Uh, there's a microphone for you. And uh, you can share that one with the other person. I'm going to go and get your winner for you. Yes. Amazing. Hello. Well, first of all... Perfect. Oh, sure. There we go. Okay, great. So, first of all, we just want to thank Hannah for having us tonight. Obviously, it's an amazing event, and cheers to all of you for your nominations and being here. Um, really, at Hug, we know how important it is to office managers and culture managers like yourself to create magic moments, and we love to do the same at Hug. So, if you haven't received a gift or a hug from us tonight, then come find us, and we would love to give you one and create a magic moment for you. You're going to get one. You come find me. We got you. We got you, too. Okay, great. And so, that's what we are, and thank you to all of you. Over to the judges for the results. The Manager of the Year Award recognizes people who have a fundamental responsibility for managing others in their role and have been a truly exceptional manager. The finalists are Cecilia Clemen, Sean Paul Hewlett, Karen Hadley and Saharan Jabir. So we'll start with the highly commended entrant and the winner of highly commended. 
is Zaharan Jubir. Bravo! Come up on stage, Zaharan, congratulations. Well done, it was, it was such a good entry. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well done. Would you like to say a couple of words? Yeah, there's a microphone just yeah, behind you. I've got uh, we can hold it. Let us be your I made it in person, guys, this time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I just want to give a massive shout out to Megan because she literally stalked me until I did the uh, nominations for this year. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, and yes, it was, I would say it was a challenging year for me, especially transitioning from an office manager to managing office managers. Uh, but it's also been a brilliant experience. Like, and I, would, I should say, like, I've been having a lot of talks this, this evening with, you know, my table over there, table three, massive shout out. Uh, <laughs> um, and those guys are inspirational. Like, I, I can't stress enough, so inspirational. I have uh, gathered like projects out of them, like how to manage people out of them. And like, I, I can just go on and on and on and on. And Victoria as well, congratulations. and. You are inspirational. I really want you to take that on board. <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking too much time. So thank you so much. And Bravo. yeah, thank you. Zarin Chapir, congratulations. I'm the winner. And now we've got to award the winner. You do it. <laughs> Jean-Paul. <laughs> Jean Paul, congratulations, winner of Manager of the Year. I just want to say that both. Come on. <laughs> well done, well done. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> we loved the video. Yeah. That was our. That was that was amazing. <laughs> Wow, okay, woo! My heart is just racing. Um, it's, it's truly a wonderful thing to get an award for, for a job that I just absolutely love to do, being a leader, working with people. It's, it's a job where I just love Mondays, and I'm just so grateful to be in the position I am. So thank you very much for everyone for this recognition. This award is really for every single person I worked with, every team member, every partner I collaborate with over my years because you made me the leader I am today, so I'm just so thankful. And on top of being a winner tonight, I actually came here this evening with three beautiful ladies. So, a big thank you to my wife, who's always supported me. My ops manager, who's always empowered me and developed me. And my CEO, Sally, who I just love and adore. She's just number one. So thank you so much for this award. I'm, I'm probably gonna go and have a little cry, but that's all good. Bravo, so John Paul. Well done. Give it up for him. Well done. You, Your winner. Me. We are at the, this is a new award uh, for 2022. It's the International Office Manager of the Year. Hello to everyone around the world joining us live. Everyone give a wave to that computer if you can over there, because that's where the camera is tonight. They're joining us from everywhere. Uh, this award is presented by our sponsor, Office Otter, uh, and we're joined by, uh, is it Cheyenne on video? And uh, please welcome Lucy Brazier, OBE, once again, uh, and Salima Sharif, give them a clap all the way to the stage. There you go. Madam. Thank you very much. Okay, the highly recommended one is your first award. There you go, Salima. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are delighted to be the first judges to review the entrants for the newest category in the Office Management Awards, the International Office Manager of the Year. 
This award celebrates those who have office management roles outside the UK and have provided exemplary work for their workplaces. But before I tell you a little bit about the winner, I would love to get Salima to talk to us about who the finalists are. Okay, brace yourself, there's quite a number of names. And I apologize up front to all of my um, uh, uh, finalists out there if I mispronounce your name. So we have Alice Coelho. We have Audrey Matimos. Avani Serpotada. Dr. Sanendra Jayarantri. Joy Hiscock. Lucille Abinadaji, Mineski Abab, Muhammad Al Mudahatari, Sarah Charters, and Sherwin Weaver. So the highly commended entrance award goes to. To Alice Coelho. Bravo to Alice Coelho. Uh, we actually have video a runner up is for this play. one. Too. No, we're not. Okay, we're going to go on. There's your runner up uh, coming up here. She can't no. be here this evening, I'm afraid, but we will send the award in the post. They live in another country. Thank you, Hannah, for being so patronizing and explaining what international means. Thank you. Okay, the runner up is Sarah Charters. Bravo. And your winner. Actually, I did just want to say something about the winner before we do that, which is that the winner's entry totally blew us away, particularly one project that they had been working on, because that project on its own brought such immense value to the business that we really felt that this person stood out for us. The other thing that really stood out is their commitment to their personal development, because despite being sensational, sensational as an office manager, they were still investing in themselves and making sure that they were becoming the best that they could possibly be. And we thought that that was exceptional. So then, let's get on with it. And the winner is... Lucille Abdenaji. Bravo. Someone's coming up on Lucille's behalf, we believe, to come and collect her awards. There you go. Congratulations, madam. Well done. And here's your prizes to your left. There you go. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, sorry, I'm not actually Lucille, but I'm her colleague uh, that nominated her for tonight. <laughs> So she wrote a little uh, message to everyone, said, good evening to all friends, colleagues, and thank you. It is a great pleasure to be here this evening, remotely. I would like to begin this thanks with a general thank you to the jury of the Office Management Awards 2022, who decided to grant us this award in the category International Office Manager of the Year. It is immense honor to receive this gratification, rewarding a long-term work of a year. And I um, thank all the members of the team who have always supported and helped me in our various projects, initiatives, and collaboration, but especially Roxandra for this nomination, who has always been so kind and empathetic, with whom I could not have won this title, who deserves so much. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, next up, now it's time for the Hybrid Office Manager of the Year, a very popular category that has dozens of entries. Uh, one of these tables has come alive over here. Now they're getting pumped. It has dozens of entries. This one is presented by our sponsor, uh, Love Where You Work, David Murray. Uh, if you can come up, welcome back, David. Uh, and Judge Yvette Pearson, uh, if you can come up. Give him a cheer all the way to the stage. David and Yvette, where are you? Yes. Uh, there is a microphone for you there, madam. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and your hybrid is your first one. 
Just so you know, we've got a license till 2 a.m., okay? So. Thank, thank, you, very, thank you very much. Um, it's, it's nice to see everybody again. My, 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 uh, my address earlier was short and sweet because it was, um, it, was a, it was a big surprise. But anyway, I'm delighted to be here representing Love Where You Work. Love Where You Work, or LWYW, you'll see it in the program, is our not-for-profit foundation at Echospace. Um, and essentially we are all about encouraging all businesses, SMEs, big and small, to do more for people that need more doing for them. So baking philanthropy into your business models. That's my, that's my personal mission. Um, Love Where You Work is sponsoring the Hybrid Office Manager of the Year Award. And I'm going to hand over to Yvette to announce, I think there's three announcements on it. We didn't rehearse this. Yeah, there's three winners, three winners, yeah. So the Hybrid Office Manager of the Year Award, or to take on what Neve was saying earlier, Hybrid Office Leader of the Year, recognises people who have multiple roles, one of which being office management related. These awards are for true multitasking kings and queens. So the finalists, there's a few of them, Abby Charles. Anna Novak. Avril Ives. Dana Shockman. Laura Castell. Sarah James. Steph Clark. Stephanie Knox, <laughs> Vitor de Oliveira, and Wade Taylor. There, there is an award for the highly commended entrance, which goes to. Would you like to? Do I open it? The highly commended entrance goes to Sarah James. Sarah James, bravo! Come up, Sarah. There she is. Bravo, Sarah. Cheer all the way to the stage. everybody, all the finalists this evening. Um, I think it's a great occasion that uh, Hannah has been able to bring everybody together and to celebrate all our achievements. And um, this is a really proud moment for me. Um, I think being able to represent um, the small SME uh, companies. Um, I work for a small uh, software company in Cheltenham, um, Savient Limited, and I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the support of the team and everyone that I work with that actually makes me a brilliant um, office manager and um, I just thrive in that role and everything that I do. So uh, thank you ever so much. Thank Bravo. You. Well done to you. Congratulations. There's another award. While he's getting the microphone, I love the way that uh, the winner is sitting over there and she wasn't sure whether to make a speech and some completely unrelated table was like, do it, do it. So. I like that. Good on you for uh, trolling the winners. That's really in the spirit of tonight. Next up. So the runner-up for Hybrid Office Manager of the, Award, of the Year Award goes to Dana Shockman. Dana Shockman, come up. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, someone else said before, I think this is one time where I am speechless. Uh, but I just want to say thank you to Hannah. Um, COVID was probably one of the greatest things that happened to me because it brought Hannah into my life. Um, she's probably one of the first people I saw on Zoom and just really took advantage of it. And I really want to thank her um, for all the opportunities she's provided to all of us to take on our roles and really excel in them. Um, and, and congratulations to all the other winners tonight. Bravo. Dana Shunkman, highly commended. That means we got the winner. Uh, that leads us to the winner of the Hybrid Office Manager of the Year. Drum roll. Yeah, mega, mega drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, everybody. Hybrid Office Manager of the Year, Stephanie Knox. Stephanie Knox. Stephanie Knox, we come up all the way here. There you go, come up. Welcome. Well done, Stephanie. Now I really am speechless because this doesn't happen. <laughs> A big thank you to Megan who's waving at me. Because without her, I really wouldn't have entered. I have to say a massive thank you to my team, my directors, because without them, I wouldn't do what I do. And they just give me free reign, essentially, to do my job and, <laughs> and essentially make the workplace a better place. So thank you, and a huge thank you to Hannah as well, because this is an amazing forum for office managers. Bravo. So thank you. Bravo. Your winner, Stephanie Knox. Want a hand, you okay? Well done, congratulations. There is one more award though, and this one is the big stuff. This is the Office Manager of the Year. Now, with, this is good, with even more <laughs> With even more entries for this category than last year's award, please welcome the headline sponsor, Radiance Property Services and Nevo Sullivan, back to the stage, uh, along with judges Lucy Chamberlain and Lindsay Taylor. Please give it up for them. Bravo. Welcome back to you, Neve. There you go, that's for you. Are you having a nice time? You're the main sponsor? Lovely time, thanks. I'm pleased. Enjoying your act. Don't I am it. pleased because you are paying for it. <laughs> so I'm pleased to be as the main sponsor. So that is a relief. That's, I'm not going to lie. That's a good point, actually. Yep. I'm going to leave you to it. Good evening, everyone, once again. Um, we at Radiance Property Services are so pleased to sponsor these awards again this year and specifically the really important Office Manager of the Year Award. I think you guys, I think next. So um, I had the honor of working with Lucy again this year, um, having been a judge for last year's inaugural um, Office Management of the Year Awards. Um, there were a staggering number of entries this year and it was really challenging to decide on a winner. The Office Manager of the Year Award recognises those who have demonstrated exceptional success over the last couple of years and played a key part supporting their businesses. The following finalists have been shortlisted. I think I'm meant to hand over to you now. <laughs> So it's my pleasure to announce the finalists for the Office Manager of the Year. Uh, please keep your applause going as there are a few who have reached the benchmarks for finals this year. Okay, here goes. We've got Abby Charles. Bravo. Ash Yurtkul. Ashley Lang. <laughs> Dorota Kleiner. Gemma Moss, Judy Long, 
Laura Castell, Louise Raybold, Luke Francois, uh, Megan O'Connell, <laughs> Melanie Ride, Michelle Decay, Michelle Lally, Nikki Holland, <laughs> Sarah James. Sharon Bentley, Stephanie Droog, and Vitor de la, um, Oliveira. So over to the judges. Okay. Oh, 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 there's a highly commended. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't really. Am I saying that or are you saying that? Maybe? We're obviously well rehearsed here. <laughs> Um, so the following finalists have been awarded highly commended entries. Laura Castell. Come up, Laura. Uh, Stephanie Droog. <laughs> Louise Raybold. Congratulations. And Nikki Holland. Nikki Holland. Nikki Holland. Over there. Bravo. Congratulations. Give it up for these four ladies who did very well, but seemingly not well enough to even walk on the podium. But that was their decision. So we're going to run her up. And we have a runner up. I know she's going to be incredibly excited about this. Megan O'Connell. Oh. Second award of the night. Give it up for her, Megan O'Connell. Bravo. Okay, and then we have the winner. Who should I give this to? And the winner is, I'm handing over to Lucy. Hello, rock stars. Hi. Okay, I am a believer in our unlimited potential. Yours, mine, ours, and this individual has it in spades. This individual is driven, determined, professional, and passionate. You have created great impact in your role through many projects and responsibilities that you take and run with on a daily basis. We see just how instrumental you have been culturally through your company's period of growth. You blew Lindsay and I away with your application. And the winner is Sarah James. Come up, congratulations. Congratulations, I like that. It's getting really oscars -y now. They've got to hug everyone on the table. Quite right too. Sarah James, congratulations to you. Bravo. Would you like to say a couple of words? Well done. Absolutely amazing. I, I just can't quite, quite believe it. Um, uh, there's, there's such um, an amazing array of people, and um, 
we're all absolutely fantastic in our roles and what we do and just keep doing what you do every single day because um, it, it really makes such a big thing to the small companies. Um, like, as I said, when I was just up here earlier, I was absolutely blown away with winning the, um, the, uh, the, the award previously. Um, we are a small company. We are a small company from Cheltenham and I've just... Everything I do every day that I do for the team is just to, just fantastic and um, I love my job, I love everything that I do and I just massive thank you to Hannah, the sponsors, the judges for I suppose believing in me and um, actually making me a worthy finalist and actually winner of this award. I'm, I am absolutely blown away and I just um, thank you ever so much. Bravo. Your winner of Office Manager of the Year. Sarah James.